What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Uh, my name is Dustin, and last time we were here, what we did is we fixed a couple of small issues. Um, first thing we did is we made it so that our camera kind of follows around our player um, a little bit behind it and then catches up whenever we stop. Um, another thing we did is we made it so that when we move in a diagonal direction, he's not going faster than if we were to go left, right, up, or down. Um, so what I want to do this time is, if so if we walk all the way over here to the edge, we can see this blue area over on the side, and we can do that on all edges. Um, I want to make it so that our camera um, stops um, when we get to the edge of the screen. So, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use um, a mathf function um, called mathf.clamp, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to clamp our camera between um, a minimum position on this x and y axis down here in the left corner, and then also on um, in clamp it between that and a maximum position um, up here on the top and right sides. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to go into our camera controller script, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a couple of variables up here. Uh, we're going to create a public uh, float, or no, not a float. We're going to create a vector2, and we're going to call this min position. And then we're using a vector2 because the minimum position is going to be that bottom left corner, and we want to get the x and y coordinates of that uh, of that position of our camera. Um, and then we also want to get the maximum position as well up in the top right corner. So we're going to create another public vector two max position, just like that. So now down here in this uh, if check here. Um, right before we uh, tell the camera what its position is going to be above our uh, vector3 lerp function, um, we want to basically change what our target position is, uh, tell it what our target position is going to be. We're going to modify it just a little bit. Um, we're going to say target position dot x is equal to um, mathf.clamp. And what the clamp is asking for is asking for three arguments. It's asking for um, what we are going to be clamping, which is going to be our transform.position.x. It's going to ask for um, and then it's going to ask for the two positions that we want to clamp it in between. So in this case, we're going to use our vector 2 of a min position dot x, and then our max position dot x, just like that. So now we want to do the same thing, but on our y-axis, we're going to say target position dot y is equal to math f dot clamp and we want to get our transform dot position dot y and then our minimum position dot y and our maximum position dot y just like that. And now that should clamp our camera in between those two positions. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Go back into Unity. Wait for it to compile. And on our main camera, we scroll down to our camera controller strip. We have these two uh, slots down here for our minimum position and our maximum position. So what we're going to do is we're going to manually tell um, this script, what those positions are. So what we're going to do is first I want to get um, 
our minimum position. So I'm just going to drag our camera um, over into where our minimum position is going to be, right about there. And then I'm going to take the um, coordinates from our transform. I'm just going to copy those numbers into our minimum position. So then our Y down here, just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing for our maximum position as well. I'm going to put our camera um, up here at the top right. Like that. And then I'm just going to take these coordinates up here in a transform. I'm going to copy and then paste down at the bottom for both the X and Y. Just like that. So now, if we go ahead and hit play, um, what's going on here? Let's see, what am I doing here? Um, oh, that's right. So um, we had already set our uh, target position just above what we just did. So we don't actually want to use our transform position. We want to use our target, if I can spell, target, wow, T-A-R-G-E-T, -E position. And we can use just target position dot x for both of these and target position dot y. So target position dot y. And then let's save that again. Go back into Unity and let it compile. And now I believe this should work just the way we want it to. So if we hit play. All right, so it is now following our player once again. And if we go down to the bottom here, you'll see that our camera no longer goes farther than our minimum position on both our X and Y axis. And then you can also check our maximum position by going all the way to the right. And it does not go farther than that. And all the way up at the top, just like that. So, I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, I think next time what we'll do is, um, so if we go over to go change to a different area, nothing really happens because our camera can't go past this. I think next time what we're going to do is we're going to create a second area over here for our player to go into. Um, and then make it so that when we move into this area, um, our... Uh, minimum and maximum positions change for that specific area. So if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Um, make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know um, of potentially better ways to do certain things. Um, if there's anything you want to see in this series, please let me know and I will see you next time.